This is a lesson from my volume two method book. And um, this is the A melodic minor section. So in the book, it goes through like different keys, right? So we did C major, and then it does A minor, and then it does G major, and then it, and then it does um, E minor. And then it goes through all the different keys, and in each key it has some scales, some chords, some arpeggios, a duet sometimes, um, a solo piece sometimes, um, and a chord song sometimes. Um, so kind of gives you a feel for each of the different keys. So there's a link for that book underneath the video. Um, make sure you've done my free volume one method book first. But um, so this is the A melodic minor section. So let's just go through some of the material. Now, um, first we're just going to play an A melodic minor scale. Now I use the melodic minor scale because it just covers more ground if there's some sharps on the way up on the sixth and seventh degree and then they're natural on the way down. So it's really good for sight reading practice. And that's one of the main intentions of the book is to learn to read in all the different keys, right? So A melodic minor scale, one octave, Of course, you should go through IM fingering, MA fingering, rest stroke, free stroke, all those combinations. The melodic minor, A melodic minor position scale goes um, all the way from this A up to the high A and then down to the lowest note in the position and then back to A again. This is really practical for sight reading, right? Um, because when you practice scales, you don't actually go through all the notes in that key in that area of the guitar. So you have to make sure that you practice all the notes within the key in that area of the guitar in order to really understand what it means to read in that key. So this is going to require a small shift to second position. So after the open E string, we're going to move our hand over, including our thumb, and play the upper notes, and then shift back down to first position. So make sure your position change is very, very clear and that your thumb moves with your hand. It should stay behind the second finger and just move wherever the hand moves. The hand just moves the fingers around, right? Okay, and then we have an A minor arpeggio. So you can just put down all the notes. We don't go up to the octave in this particular scale, we could. But because of the level of the book, we're just going to keep it nice and easy. For the triads, you might want to put down your whole A minor chord. Then you can do the root position triad second inversion, and root. We could do more, of course. But again, I think it's just nice that you just get a little bit of practice with these, and then at a later point in your development, you can really dive into music theory on the guitar a lot more. This will be a nice little introduction, though. So the next part is um, we're just going to strum through a chord progression. This is really, really great for your recognition of chords and music. Um, it also teaches you lots of, yeah, just teaches you the chords. Um, it's good practice on just um, finger dexterity, moving around to different chords. And um, I think that classical guitarists need to practice these chords just in the same way that folk singer guitarists need to do it too. Um, you should be able to play through chord progressions in different keys, just as a basic musicianship um, exercise. But also, you'll see these chords come up in your repertoire, so it gives you a chance to check them out, try them out before actually before they come up in an actual piece. So A minor, C major, F major, D minor, E major, and A minor. Make sure you've gone over the C major section and that you've watched the C major video so that we've, because we've already talked about all these chords. So the duet in this one is by Kufner and it's the romance. Um, you'll notice um, there's a separate video for the duet and the chord song. 
for this piece. So you can watch that. Just go to the, the link under the video and you'll see a list of all the different videos for the book. Um, and I'm playing the duet with someone else so you can see what it sounds like with two people. Um, if you're playing it on your own, just play the top line like it's a solo piece. And this gets you used to the 6-8 time signature. Once you're used to counting like that, um, you can just count it in, in two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. So the first beat and the fourth beat are where the main emphasis lie. So you can just feel it in that way. Conductors will often conduct it just one, two, four, one, four, one, four, four, one, two, ta, ta, one, ta, ta, two, ta, ta. So they feel it more like it's just two beats. But watch the other video so you can hear what it sounds like. Um, and then the solo piece is Lesión 46 by uh, Julio Segreras. And um, this is an arpeggio kind of etude lesson. Um, in A minor, so you want to try to recognize some of the, the chords in this piece, such as the A minor shape, the E major shape, and the D minor shape. Um, that's one of the reasons why we strummed those chords, is that you're going to play this piece and you can recognize some of them. I don't expect you to recognize every chord shape, but you can recognize some of them. So just realize that each bar is a different chord, right? Or each group, each arpeggio group is a different chord. So don't play it. But instead, hold the chord down. You can either grab the whole chord or one at a time, but leave your fingers down. Because notice that my fingers don't move in the left hand, right? then you switch chords. You can play the piece fast. Or play it very slow. Your goals are very much the same. Play it legato, play it smooth, make sure everything sustains as much as possible. And just get used to doing this right hand pattern along with the shapes. Um, I have lots of other technique videos that you can watch um, that talk about planting on the, on the guitar and stuff like that. But I think at this level you're getting some practice playing in A minor. And um, I think if you just play the piece and try to smooth it out and make, it, make sure it sustains lots, um, you'll work your way through the book and then you can pick up my technique book and really work your technique um, separately. So also um, you can watch the video that I made um, of playing Star of County Down. You can play the melody on its own. Or you can just strum the chords. Um, um, but you want to get a little bit of practice doing both. But watch that separate video. There's a link for it under, the, under, the, under this video. And just get an idea of what it sounds like, and then you can just play around with it, play the melody on its own, play the chords on their own, and then move on to the next key.